what you're doing at the moment? Um, well, I've got a bee in the marking cage here with a number on her back. Lovely. And I'm just going to put a radar transponder onto her back so that we can track her. Fantastic. This might look like a radio-controlled bee, but it's actually a bee with a little radar transponder on it, which means that we can track this bee as it flies around the field. Pretty clever stuff. When a radar beam hits this transponder, it bounces back a return signal that can be detected by a receiver dish. Less than 10% of the bee's body weight is simple and harmless to put on and take off. And these little guys can carry 90% of their body weight in pollen, so it won't affect the way it flies. And now all we need is some radar. And in a Land Rover, in the middle of the field, air traffic control. The radar beam sweeps out across the meadow and beyond. And as the bee flies, the transponder bounces back its signal to the receiving dish, which is plotted on a screen. For the first time ever, we can see exactly where the bees go, which direction, how fast, how high, how far, even pinpoint what their favourite food is. And once a bee's done its work, we can watch it fly back home again. Coming back laden with pollen. And as the tracks plotted themselves on the radar, this is what Juliet discovered. First of all, the bees are flying much faster than predicted, an incredible 30 miles an hour, even when fully laden. The next surprise is where the bees go. They almost always overfly potentially decent food, like this oilseed rape, in favour of more distant booty. Juliet thinks this is probably to avoid competition with other members of the same hive. The further out you go, the more choice you get. And once they've found their patch, they then repeatedly shuttle to and from it. And this is the really clever bit. In spite of 30 mile an hour crosswinds, whether out or back, they all fly in dead straight lines, bee lines. For an animal of a few grams with the brain the size of a grain of salt, this is no mean feat. But it's vitally important, because like the geese, they're on a knife-edge energy budget. The straighter their bee lines, the less energy they expend. <laughs> 